It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. Today we're going to do a high level overview of the events and what you need to do and what you should expect to go forward through this 90 day event. Now, not all of them are 90 days. As you can see, this is 97, where the Braver Together is only 12 days. So, do consider that some of these are timed in the sense of how you can go through them and what your efforts are. Now, this specific event, the Song Ranking, you can see here it's based off dynamite and permission to dance so obviously i've done dynamite and i was able to achieve within the 11 million point and that got me in the two percentile the top player right now is at 36 million and this is in the pure vanilla server as it's going to be different in your other servers the rewards if you get in the top percent are some gems some summon army bombs and some new titles as well where with the permission to dance, they have some different titles, but as well, gems and army bombs. So, I definitely recommend doing the songs as best as you can, trying to practice if you can, so that you can go through and get these rewards, because they're definitely something nice that I think all of you will enjoy. But also, it's going to be based off those specific songs. I believe after 12 days, we will have different songs that we will be able to have the rankings go against new rewards, and if that is the case, it will likely be taking our existing scores and applying those to the new songs if they are going to be ranked. Now, in addition, the ticket booth missions, this also does depend on your songs, whether you're getting A qualities, S qualities, B qualities, all that's going to matter. But then, in addition, some things like finish with 25 million points on normal difficulty, finish with 10 million on hard... 15 on expert reach 170 times combo it's good to read through these that way you can understand what to expect obviously if you just do perfect runs every single time and multiple times you'll clear these out anyway but sometimes those are hard so you can kind of focus on specific things if you really want to look through it same thing on some of the ones like butter so they're going to have a few different things but you can look through these to see what it's going to take for you to be able to claim these and get them leveled up. In addition, the Cookie Kingdoms by BTS. These are specific missions using these cookies each. So obviously you have to meet the cookies first to be able to do these specific spots. And then you can watch their video to get their secondary rewards. And then all of them have either Bear Jelly Balloon missions, Complete World Explorations, but anything that it's asking you to do you can't use time jumpers to do. Now, that doesn't mean you can't do that with the cooking section. So, like, if you're crafting 20 candy flowers at the flower shop with Jungkook as the cookie that's at the shop, you can go ahead and speed those up for sure. But as far as, like, actual stages, you're not allowed to use time jumpers if you want to get those rewards specifically. The Riddle Kingdom, it's already been solved. I have posted it on my social medias and my YouTube uh, posts, so if you have not seen it, it's there. It's actually very well spread around everywhere, and I can put it in the description of this video too. But once we get to 3 million, we can get a free 3,000 gems, 3,000 army bombs, and a free BTS soul stone chest of our choice, which the good thing is if we get to the point where we've gotten all of our BTS cookies max and we still get that chest, then we just get gems instead. So it really works out either way for you guys. And just getting this answer done gives you a thousand army bombs and three thousand gems as well. So it's really just behooving you to do so. The purple pass is again taking the missions that you're doing and the collections that you're doing and the stamps and the decor and all of that into consideration. If you do not buy the Purple Pass, which you are not required to, you will get the basic tier rewards, but it's similar to a Kingdom Pass, if you think about it, because it's got all the way up to tier 50, and there's a whole bunch of rewards along the way, so definitely something I recommend at least doing, even if you don't get the Purple Pass for the extras. The Army Bomb missions are the huge list of missions that we can do. Try to go through these, see if you can kind of knock some of them out together at the same time, because some of them are upgrading specific cookies, some of them are getting S tier with certain cookies leading the pack, because you can adjust who leads 
the actual SOM dance missions, so definitely look at that. That way you don't miss those. If you want to go through and collect specific bounties, if you're doing the promotions, you know, there's quite a lot of missions here. And being it's 97 days left, we've got a lot of time to get most of these missions done. So you don't have to feel rushed, but definitely something that I at least suggest taking advantage of. Even if you're not trying to run the BTS cookies, you still get all these free rewards, and it's really awesome. Now, the BTS Tour Daily Gifts, nothing you have to do there. Just log in every day and collect. And then with these, you just have to make sure you read the requirements and follow the event guide for getting these all done. If you do, you will get a free legendary or ancient cookie of your choice once you have finished all 36 specific map kingdom tour missions so i'm excited about this event let me know in the comments what you're feeling about it so far are you enjoying it are you at least enjoying the free resources if you don't enjoy the other stuff just let me know i'd love to hear your thoughts either way we will cover more videos on more things i do plan to talk about shorts and the bts cookies in the arena in story modes and a few other modes as well so please do look forward to that so I appreciate everyone stopping by and have a wonderful day.